Hi everyone, it's Kara, and I am back for my little mini vacation to Seattle. I have all sorts of haul goodies to share with you, but before I get to that video, I wanted to do a real quick video on my first rack ever that was waiting for me when I got home. It's from Dawn, a very wonderful, kind woman that I met over on the uh, online crafty community, Mini Album Scraps. She is super sweet and sent me so many goodies. I just wanted to share them with you real quickly. And I also want to mention that um, all the ladies over there are very generous um, and we have lots of fun crafting and chatting and swapping. So if you haven't checked them out, um, oh, and I should mention, I think there's a couple guys as well who are also very nice. Um, if you haven't checked out that site, um, please do because we have a blast over there. So anyway, um, Dawn was nice enough to send me a whole bunch of beads and charms and all sorts of great things that I wanted to share with you. She knows that, um, because we've chatted online, that beads and charms and things like that get a little bit pricey up here. So because she has access to flea markets and things like that, that apparently have really great prices, she was very generous and sent me a whole bunch of her goodies. So these are actually some bracelets that she sent, but you could take them apart for the beads and the bead caps and all that good stuff. So she sent me two of these. These are in the kind of a mint green. And then two, same style, sorry, but in a kind of a teal dark green color. And then two more, same style, in kind of a, I don't know, rosy coppery color. Really pretty. And then she sent me some smaller ones. Again, in that same um, teal color. Sorry about the um, shadows and all that, but it is officially winter here in Alaska, and so there's not going to be a whole lot of natural light for me to find for months. Um, and then another small one in kind of a dark burgundy color. Really pretty. Let's see. Oh, you can kind of see my desk that way. Um, and a couple in a more olive -y olive kind of green color. And I apologize if I'm not making a ton of sense because I just got home from work and it was a long day. Anyway, and a couple in kind of this lavender purple color and I just wanted to show you, let's see if I can find it, some of these filler beads. Let's see if it'll show with really pretty rhinestones. Maybe it'll focus. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, well, it doesn't want to focus, so you'll just have to take my word for it that they're really pretty. There you go. Can't wait to use those. Then she sent me three of these chains. They're kind of um, pendant or not sure what you'd set it, say, but it could be charms and then the, be the filler beads in there. Three sets of those with black, and then three sets of kind of a square. There you go. These are turquoise colored ones. Super cute. Three sets of those. And then several of these really cute little flowers that, oh, let's see. Sorry, guys. Oh, and there's a glare that are kind of um, enameled or, sh or um, almost, I don't know, gem-like in the center. Really cute colors. Those will be good for some springtime charm. And she also sent me quite a few sets of these gold chains, like a bigger, some bigger sets of links like this. And some smaller ones. I thought I had around here somewhere. Oh, here you go. Like this, which I'm not, I don't use a lot of gold, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with those, but I think I could probably distress them up with some of the alcohol inks and things, and maybe that'll work out. I'm sure I'll find something for them. And then a couple little bags of these filigree, let's see. There you go. Filigree beads. couple little bags of those and then some silver beads that look kind of like they're probably again filler beads but they have a little kind of pattern 
if it'll focus again, etched on it, really cute. And then it has those, um, you know, the holes where you can, whoop, where you can put them on a pin or whatever, so you can add them to stick pins or um, charms. And then she sent me a ton of these really huge, uh, I guess they'd be pendants, but that you could use on charms. And there's like five different styles. I have a couple like this. Let me see. That are kind of enameled in the center. And then this heart one. And then this floral one. You can see they're, they're really big. Those are going to be so fun on charms. Can't wait. And this one is one of my favorites. You can see the um, rhinestones in the center of the flowers. Isn't that cute? And I think this reminds me of some vintage jewelry. Really cute. And then this one is the last one. Oh, and there's a lot of glare. Sorry, guys. Let's see if it'll focus. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Love it. So she, there's five different kinds, and she sent me a ton of them. Again, super generous. And then the last thing, my most favorite thing, are all these wonderful charms that she sent me. Let's see. Let me just move the camera a little bit just so you can see all those. Isn't that wonderful? Love it. And there's a variety um, of these dragonflies. They're all silver, which I love. And butterflies. And hearts. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got those have the built-in bling. These really gorgeous butterflies, again with the built-in bling. And I want to put a question out there for those of you who might look at this. Um, there's several of these charms that have this kind of hook on the back, probably because it's meant to be on a chain. And I'm sure I can figure something out, but if you have any good suggestions for how to um, adapt this to put on charms, I would appreciate it. And then some ooh, flip flops. Um, there's a variety of hearts. There's just a ton. Crosses. She was just so kind and generous, and I just really wanted to say thank you and show you guys all the goodies that she sent. Oh, and one last thing. She tossed in, oops, sorry, this little set of um, little mini dominoes. So those are gonna be fun. So that is all the goodness that my scrappy friend Dawn from the online crafty com community mini album scrap sent me. She is super nice. I wanna say a big thank you to her, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.